Before we dive into all of that, let's talk about what goes into pricing a home, right? Location, condition, market, marketing, okay? If you're going to reach all the buyers. But most importantly, number five, the most forgotten one is preparation. The average American homeowner spends about $5,000 to prepare their home for sale. I did not know that. Yeah, legit. So 78% of homeowners, according to Inman, which is a um, real estate industry magazine, right? Yeah. But there are some things that nobody is talking about that at the Despirito team we feel you should do to really get the biggest bang for your buck. Aside from decluttering and depersonalizing, what about cleaning the property, right? You really got to get down on your hands and knees and, 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 and really clean. And it also really lowers an offer price because people are thinking, oh, my God, like, what about all this work I got to do? Right. Think, think about well, all plus the Plus, if you grease. see deferred maintenance on something simple like that, then what are the other hidden issues? Here are some of the areas that you want to cover. A short list of the big, the biggest and the best areas you really want to cover when um, putting before putting your home on the sale. The front entrance walkway. Just look at your house and look at everything. Look at the curb appeal. Look at the bushes. Look at the front entrance. Are there cobwebs on your lights? We'll get rid of the cobwebs, right? Yeah. When you walk into the home, the floors, you know, the floors are overlooked so much. And, and this retail stores spend millions and millions and mi probably billions of dollars in keeping shiny floors. How about the bathrooms? Yeah. How many homes have you gone in where there's mold between like the in the grout and the tiles? Uh, you want to get rid of that. You definitely want to get rid of the mold in bathrooms, obviously. If there's any chipping paint from the moisture, yep. make sure your bathroom does not have a strong odor. I mean, who wants to walk into a nasty bathroom? And again, going back to the clean kitchen, I can't even tell you how... Look, you want clear countertops. You don't want any food out. You don't want any dishes in the sink or anywhere. You really want to keep this. And a lot of people might be like, you know what, Emilio? Duh. But I... I Look, it's sometimes these basic things that are overlooked that are costing you yeah. a ton, ton of money. This is going to be even more vital, okay? A good chunk of the buyers here in Rhode Island, especially under about $450,000 price range, are many. FHA. That's Federal Housing Administration, right? Yep. That's the 3.5% down program. Very affordable. VA, Veterans Financing. Yep. 100% financing, Rhode Island housing financing, and USDA, all 100% financing programs, those all require that your property is safe for a buyer to move right into. So what what are some of these items as far as safety? Uh, well, we see things all the time, whether there's um, handrails that are missing, you know, things that are just not to code that perhaps need to be updated. Mm -hmm. So we do see a lot of that that come up as a result of inspections and very often can delay closings because now there's this last minute where the seller is scrambling to get these items resolved so that the buyer's home inspector can come back out, give it the approval so the lender can clear the loan. Absolutely. I would say about nine and a half out of 10 sellers are not doing these pre-list home inspections. And let me tell you something, it really hurts you. It really, really does. So if you invest money up front to go ahead and ease buyer's concerns, now think about the intrinsic value in that, as well as the fact that buyers are asking for $3, Melissa, $3 worth of repair credits for every $1 Is that really of actual case? repairs. It's I did in, not know that number. It's totally insane.